in today with this new policy that many SUNY students will have to follow before they leave for Thanksgiving break in just a few weeks. SUNY is requiring on-campus students to test negative for the coronavirus before they head home. As we hear now from Channel 2's Jeff Preval. Well, most SUNY campuses, they are going fully remote after Thanksgiving with dorm halls shutting down. This new policy is all about trying to prevent community spread of the virus. In a press release today, SUNY says that residential students will have to test negative for COVID within 10 days before leaving campus. On-campus students cannot fulfill this requirement with an antibody test. SUNY says that this policy has been approved by public health experts and does not apply to students who are learning remotely. For example, UB says it is preparing to test all on-campus students and is now assessing how many will actually need to get a test. Some schools already do weekly pools surveillance testing and that satisfies this new policy. We have a very aggressive policy we've or a practice and we have sufficient people working on it. We just have to ratchet up a little bit, but we'll get it done. Now, SUNY says that colleges need to conduct the test as close to a student's departure date as possible in campuses. They can consider to let residential students leave campus once they receive a notification of a negative test. What if a student tests positive for the virus? They would be subject to isolation or quarantine. Now, staff and faculty, they are recommended to get a COVID test during the same time frame. They are not required to. Schools, they need to come up with their plans before November 5th. And in Western New York, we have not seen any major COVID outbreaks at any of the SUNY campuses, resulting in full remote learning. In Buffalo, Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.